Hey folks, I'm really thrilled with the questions that are coming in. So, hey, another video here. Two questions came in. Number one from Josh out of Georgia. He asked, you know, what do you do, you do with very senior managers, planners, or supervisors when they just won't accept reliability best practices? Question number two from Carl in Indiana with me. Ask, hey Joe, I love the concept of chalk circle observation to get to know current state. How long should I observe? Very good question, very simple question, I love it. This is Joe Kuhn of Lean Driven Reliability, bridging the gap between best practices that you know you should be doing and the reality that you live every day in your plants. Okay, question number one. What do you do with employees or leaders that refuse to get on the reliability bus? And I'll add to that, you've trained them, you've trained them, you've coached them, you coach them. You know, their knowledge is irreplaceable. What do I do? Actions, and these are things I've actually done. You have to put some meat into the discussion. Lower their performance rating, remove a bonus, take away a bonus, make it zero. Give it to somebody else. Re uh, reduce their salary. Those things are very impactful, very impactful. Even taking away $200 a month from somebody is very impactful. You don't link the behavior to the action, you gotta do that. Uh, inform them that the next step is the door. Uh, folks, this may sound harsh, but uh, you cannot be held hostage uh, as a leader. I promise you their knowledge uh, is in the plant somewhere and you got to unleash that. Good chance it's with the craftsman uh, and a reliability culture will make that, that uh, resource available to you. They will very eagerly give their ideas if they know that you are helping them. It's a great way to change the culture, and unfortunately, some people uh, need to be sacrificed because they just will not get on board. I'm speaking from experience. I've done this three times. Three times, I've had to reduce at least 50, or change at least 50% of my staff, 50% of the staff. One of those times was 90%, actual 90% of the staff. That took a couple years, but 90% of the people were in different roles. The status quo, is often your biggest obstacle in reliability. People just wanna hang on to the past. It's, it's in the nature of a lot of maintenance and the leaders and you as, a, as the visionary um, need to be serious. And this is, a, this is a, the ugly part of reliability. Uh, every time I've been involved, uh, people had to change. Okay, question number two. I love the concept of chalk circle observation to know current state. How long should I observe? Chalk circle, uh, quickly is adding overwhelming firsthand observation to your data set. It's a game changer, folks. Your career will change. You will be a different leader when you add chalk circle observation to your data set. You'll make better decisions, you'll be right more often, and you'll have a bigger impact. I'm telling you, this is what I wish I could tell my 25-year-old self get out on the floor and observe. You gotta add that to KPIs. You gotta be very suspicious with KPIs first, but you got them, you got opinion, you got experience, overwhelming observation, make that a requirement. Um, so, hey, you know, to uh, the question, you know, know your end game. You know, you're trying to end your observation process with three to five actions that you can take in the next 30 days that everyone could easily align it on um, there's no to limited cost. I prefer no cost and it's meaningful. You need to start that reliability flywheel going. Um, and, and these are, these are great actions that the people on the floor see, the, the planner see, the supervisor see, it starts to make an impact to the business. These are gold. Billions folks, billions of dollars are wasted because people think they know the solution from KPIs and opinion. They buy new equipment, they hire people, they do this, they do that, and they don't understand current state. I wish <laughs> I wish I could tell my 25-year-old self this. It took me <laughs> a lot longer than that to learn it. You know, my rules, I'll get very specific for you. Somebody gave me this advice, a guy named Pat, uh, over 20 years ago. He said, uh, spend three times as much in observation as I think is necessary. So if I'm looking at a situation, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this bearing. It's a very problematic bearing on the process. I say, hey, I'm gonna go out there and watch this PM. I'm gonna watch, talk to the operator. I'm gonna observe this thing. I should be able to do this all in about eight hours. Well, that means three days, okay? Three times as long. You gotta be able to see the waste manifest itself about five times. That's rule number two. 
You know, you gotta make sure the actions that you're, these three to five actions, they're meaningful. You don't wanna just say, we're gonna prove three things and yay, yay, we'll put on minimal, we've mentioned we improved three things and it doesn't hit the monthly financials. If it's not gonna hit the monthly or quarterly financials, keep looking, okay? Best practice. Hey folks, I like a minimum of three days. That's a good number for me. Good place to start, three days. Include shift changes in each one of those days. So if it's a seven to three shift, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. shift, make sure you get the shift changes. Just see that handoff between nights to days, days to afternoons. You gotta see that handoff. A lot of waste is in the handoffs. Okay, day number one, this never happens. You're gonna see things and you're gonna write it off as it never happens. Day number two, I can't believe this happened again. That's what you're gonna say, and that's what the leaders of your plant will say. I, I can't believe this happened again. I did, I, this, this happened two days in a row. This is the most unusual week we've ever had at our plant. Day number three, people are hanging their heads, and they say, guys, this is really normal. This happened three days in a row. This is normal. We can do this. This is meaningful. Make no mistake. Reliability is a culture. It's a culture with a focus on waste and you gotta open your eyes and train yourself to see the waste. Get out of your office to see the waste. It's, it's not about KPIs, not about tools. Folks, it's a culture and it starts with seeing and accepting the waste. Hey, you want a step-by-step -step on this process? It's in my book, Amazon, $14.99. The e-version, electronic version is $7.99. Hey folks, begin your journey. This stuff isn't that hard. Keep the questions coming. I love this segment. Joe out.